Good morning from Anaheim, California. We are currently leaving the Marriott uh, over here on Harbor Boulevard, uh, right next to the Anaheim Convention Center. And we are walking to Disney's California Adventure, which is just a little bit up uh, Harbor Boulevard here. So I figured I'd take you guys on the walk with us and then we'll have a great day at Disney's California Adventure. So I'm gonna show you guys about the walk. It's about 7.57 right now. Um, so we're gonna get there a little after rope drop and then you guys can see how long the walk is if you stayed out of the Anaheim or the Hilton over here by the convention center. So let's head to Disney's California Adventure. So we are walking uh, north on Harbor Boulevard now. Uh, right there is actually the entrance of some of the Disneyland parking lots. I believe those are the Toy Story lots. Uh, if you park all the way down here, there is bus transportation to take you back to Disneyland, but this is basically the walk. It's about, a, about maybe a half mile uh, up the road here. So not a bad walk at all. Gets the energy going in the morning. Um, and I'll show you some other things on the way that we see. So heading over to DCA. So we are now at the corner of Harbor and Tatel. Uh, we walked over that way, but you can actually see that is Guardians of the Galaxy right there. DCA is right there. We're gonna walk up behind it. Um, and then you hit a plaza where DCA is on the left and Disneyland's on the right. But it's been about five minutes since I filmed the last clip in, in real time. So it's not a bad walk at all. It really isn't. It's kind of honestly like if you park in Animal Kingdom and you walk from the back of the parking lot to the front of the park, I would say it's close to that distance of a walk. But yeah, we're just gonna keep on walking. I'll show you guys some more cool things as we get closer. And this is the backside of DCA. That orange thing there, that's actually the backside of Cars Land. But everything behind that fence there is all backstage of Disney California Adventure. So we kind of hit the park. We're just walking up alongside of it. Um, we walk up kind of to the front where DCA meets Disneyland, and that's where Disneyland Esplanage is. And then from the Esplanage, we uh, we head into both parks. So let's let's go there. And we made it over to the entrance of Disneyland uh, from Harbor. The purple and blue thing right there, that's actually the Disneyland sign from the road. Uh, that's Harbor continuing there. And then we're gonna make a left over here. And that's where we walk over to the theme parks and security entrance and all that stuff. Uh, right behind me is the rideshare loop. So if you called Moonbar or anything, that's where it would drop you off. Right in front of me here, you'll see a bus go by. Those are the Anaheim buses uh, for the Disneyland parking lots. But yeah, we're here, we've made it. This is the entrance to Disneyland, that gray wall right there that's actually where the train goes through um that's that's disneyland right there and if we pop out behind this bush here you'll see space mountain there it is space mountain so that's disneyland there and that's dca behind these trees so yeah we've made it we're gonna get through security and then uh make a left into disney uh, into dca and this is the entrance to security disneyland is old-fashioned security full bag check and metal detectors. So just know that when you come that your bags are gonna have to get uh, looked through and then you have to walk through metal detector. So it takes a little bit longer than normal. But um, yeah, let's let's get through security. So we've made it through security to the Esplanade. You got Mickey benches here. This is uh, like accessibility service windows here. Uh, straight ahead, if you were to go all the way down that way, that is the entrance to downtown Disney. Still downtown Disney here. And then all the Disney resorts to the right is going to be Disneyland, where we went yesterday, where the pumpkins are and everything. And then to the left, DCA. That's where we're headed today. Straight to DCA. And you can see Oogie Boogie's up there. His Oogie Boogie Bash will be starting in about two weeks, I think. Um, and that happens at DCA, not at Disneyland, compared to where Not So Scary happens at Magic Kingdom. Here it's at DCA. But yeah, the Disney California Adventure. So excited, there's so much to do here. So much to do here. And we've made it inside DCA. The Pacific Trolley's going by. That's awesome. I love this park. This park is so fun. It's kind of like Hollywood Studios, but not like Hollywood Studios. It's just the best. So I think we're probably gonna go get some coffee, some breakfast, and see what wait times are. Uh, the park just opened uh, about 15 minutes ago, officially. So it was about a 20 minute walk for us to get out here. Oh, look at the Halloween direct decorations. I'm so excited for Cars Land's Halloween decorations. We'll get to see all those. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna do breakfast and coffee first and then check out some wait times and just start our day here at DCA. 
So we decided to go into Avengers Campus and head to Pim Test Kitchen for breakfast because they have French toast and also a cookies and cream cold brew, I believe. So we're gonna go there. Sorry for the music if it's getting really loud. Um, entrance to Avengers Campus is a huge arc, arc reactor that all lights up at night. So that's fun. This is uh, where Spider-Man does his little stunt show over here. Web Suppliers is over here. Web Slingers is on the other side of this building. I'll show you when we get over there. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is up there. And they did just announce at DCA that they're doing two new rides in here. Uh, so Avengers Campus is going to be doubling in size in the next two years, which is awesome. Um, we're going to be here a lot today because I want to see some of the shows, like the Deadpool show. Uh, I don't know which other ones are still here, but I definitely want to at least see the Deadpool show. So, yeah, let's head to Pim Test Kitchen. Uh, quick change of plans. We're going to do Web Slingers first because it's only a 10-minute standby wait right now. So we're going to do Web Slingers first, then go get breakfast. Engineering Brigade Open House. And now, our project lead, the brilliant, oh, 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 Peter Parker. Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker, and here at Web, we get access to some pretty awesome tech, like Vibranium from Wakanda, or this crazy alien juice stuff. We have Pim Particles and Star Tech. It all helps us develop really cool stuff, like, um, like these spider bots, for example. Check it out, they have this really cool self-replicating feature. Because? Uh, this is awesome. Buddy, you can stop doing that now. But anyway, you guys are here today to help us test the web slinger vehicle. Using onboard tech, you will be able to sling webs just like my buddy Spider-Man. Hey there, your presentation is getting away from you. Yeah, I'm aware of that, Sharon. If you could just initiate the safety protocols, it'd be great. Problem with that, So anyway, Peter. if you want to sling a web, all you got to do is sling your arm in the direction you want to shoot the web. And that's it. Peter, your spider bots are continuing to replicate and are consuming everything oh. in their path. They seem to be stuck in self-replication mode. If you could just handle that for me, please. On it. Contacting Mr. Stark. Don't call Mr. Stark! Don't call Mr. Stark. Sorry, Shadow. Could you just call somebody else and ask them to do it? Okay. Contacting Spider-Man. Spider? Um, I'm gonna go find Spider-Man for us all because he's around here somewhere. Okay, goodbye. Spider-Man! As you may have noticed, the spider bots are locked in that awesome self-replication mode. In spite of what you see, they were created to be robotic helpers that can break down raw material and create all kinds of useful tech. But because they are stuck in self-replication mode, the spider bots are currently consuming everything in sight and multiplying at an alarming rate. If left unchecked, my calculations predict this will lead to the devastation of the entire Avengers campus. Who should be safe until Spider-Man gets here, as long as they don't get into the alien fluid? This is now a bigger problem. Activating threat level protocols. Hey guys, what's up? I hear you have a phone problem. I'm here to help. You made it. Great. Threat level is at exponential danger. You might need some help. Have you ever called you Don't worry, everyone. I got this. Ah! Everybody, open house is canceled. Wise idea. Then I could use some help. Yes, you could. Sharon, print the slinger vehicles. Already on it. Everyone head to the slingers and we'll team up to stop the spider bots before they destroy the campus. It's easy. Okay, we have a plan. Please move through the door. We got our cool spider shades. We're gonna go help Spider Man. Let's go help Spider Man. We're getting ready to board. And you can see the spider bots will pop up through the vents. It's a cool little theming element. But there, the web slinger vehicle. This factory's worth 39 days without a potato gun malfunction. That's fun. Now we're gonna be swinging webs, just like Spider Man. Here we go, these are the web slinger vehicles. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna film, but uh, I'll try to film a little bit of it. Here we go. All right, how many you got? Right on Team
After web slingers are making our way to the Pim Test Kitchen for some cookies and cream cold brew and some French toast. Pim Test Kitchen. So in Pim Test Kitchen, they have the Pim Mega Sizer here. The regular pretzels enter there. Then they either come out big or super tiny. Um, also behind us is the menu. So we're gonna get the Sin Pim Toast 2.0. They also have eggs and bacon, giant pretzel. We're here really that guy. So this is the French toast. This was $13. And there's the cookies and cream cold brew, which was another $7. This is really big, so it looks very good though. And there's the syrup with some blueberries in it. So we're all done with breakfast. It was delicious. Uh, we made our way out of Avengers Campus and we're gonna head towards Pixar Pier. Hang out over there. Oh my goodness, there's Cars Land. The Halloween decorations. We're gonna go do Cars Land a little bit later. Um, but for now, we're gonna head to Pixar Pier, San Francisco, that area, and um, hang out over here for a little bit. So let's go this way. So we're gonna get on the inside out emotional world. Just a little spinny balloon ride. Fun stuff. We're starting. It's gonna be real fun. So we walked out of Pixar Pier for now. We're in San Francisco for the time being. So we're gonna head this way through the backside of Cars Land, which this entrance to Cars Land is just awesome. Wait till you see this reveal. I mean, just look at this reveal. There go the cars. This is awesome. If they can bring just a little bit of this to Magic Kingdom and to Frontierland somehow, I mean, this is, it, this doesn't look like it's like faked, you know, it looks so real. But this is where uh, Radio Springs Racers is. We'll do that a little later. Um, but that's where that main ride is here. And then this is the backside of Flo's V8 Cafe. And then we'll end up turning down through Radiator Springs. And this is Radiator Springs. And it's all decorated for Halloween. I mean, look, we got little spiders up there. We got little cars decorated. Uh, cars decorated right there. It is awesome. We're definitely gonna come back here at night. You got like chains to look like spider webs. I still just love like the tire pieces that they own. Make everything look like it's got teeth. This is awesome. This is awesome. This looks like Coco. What a great job this is. This is so well done. This is cool. They made an ofrenda for Doc Hudson. Crisscross of Pixar, you know, with cars and coca. This is cool. Over here at the Cozy Cone, they turn all the cones into jack-o'-lanterns. How fun is that? These ones are actually like carved out and the bigger ones just have like probably stickers on them. Oh look, Mater's out. Hanging out at the Cozy Cone, taking pictures of Mater. That's super fun. Back here is all like little individual like uh, food stands. So churros, ice cream, different things like that. That's what's at the Cozy Cone Motel. But yeah. Cars land at Halloween. Cars land at Halloween. Awesome. So I decided to come from Cars Land to cut through San Francisco. I'm walking over the bridge right now. Head back over to Pixar Pier over there and get in the single rider line for uh, Incredicoaster. So let's head over to Incredicoaster. And we're back at Pixar Pier. So the Incredicoaster single rider entrance is right on the other side of this knickknack store over here. Uh, it's like a weird little side gate that you get in. The main entrance is more down where that red roof is. That's actual entrance for Incredicoaster. The single rider is 
over here to the left, so you can hop over there. So weirdly enough, when you enter the single rider queue at Disneyland, you get a single rider pass. So that way everyone knows that you're a single rider. So strange when they do something. All right, waiting for the Incredicoaster. If I remember correctly, this really messed with my head last time. So, we'll see how it does this time. It's sitting more to the back. So, about 15 minutes for single rider. That's not bad. After Incredicoaster, uh, we're kind of walking back towards uh, Mike and Sully to the rescue. Um, we also stopped off to rest for a little bit, so we're heading to Mike and Sully to the rescue for right now. Heading back this way through Avengers Campus, over that way. Heading on Mike and Sully to the rescue. Let's get on this dark one. <laughs>
Kitty's gotta go now. Sleep tight. Don't worry about it, folks. Just a stand at the end of the I'll take that in our new Mike and Sully to the rescue. We're heading over here behind the Hipparion Theater for story time with Deadpool, which is a new offering here at Disneyland. Uh, can't, I've seen some videos of the Deadpool stuff here. It's hilarious. So we're gonna come watch story time with Deadpool. So Disney won't be sued for me doing this. That's right. This story is Little Red Deadpool. <laughs> it's not real. All right, moving on. <laughs> Once upon a time, you know, it just doesn't feel right when it's just me and that one woman who's been here at all the shows. <laughs> now I think everyone here should say those words together. Ready? <laughs> that was so mediocre. Just, just not great. I'm gonna do it myself. Once upon a time, Little Red Deadpool set off to bring her grandmother a delicious basket of churros. Now you see, Grandma was a real misanthrope who lived in the middle of the dark forest in a decrepit old cottage. She didn't live in a nice, clean, assisted living facility like where most of our Meemaws are forced to live against their will. <laughs> this seems dangerous, thought Little Red to herself. But she ventured off into the woods anyway so that children could learn from her mistakes for hundreds of years to come. It's a real after-school special kind of cautionary tale. Little Red, what she did, she skipped merrily through that dark forest, right past a whole bunch of unnecessary exposition, and arrived at Grandma's cottage. She opened the door to find Grandma Ma laying there in a beautiful, four-poster, old-timey mahogany bed. I mean, well, handcrafted. Someone spent a lot of time on that. Grandma! I brought you a basket of churros! <laughs> you see, Grandma looked super weird. And it's not because she was overusing that weight loss drug, Ozempic. <laughs> yeah, no. This is because Grandma was secretly the big bad wolfy in disguise. Grandma! What blue eye contacts you have! They're canon. And Grandma! What a retro comic accurate yellow costume you finally have! Shut up, Bub. Man. 
sent him. Ching! <gasps> Grandma's not Australian! <laughs> At that moment, Little Red took a churro out of the basket, dropped the basket, whipped off her cloak, took a bite of the churro for the energy, and brought down her katanas in an X formation. not an easter egg for those of you expecting that. It was just a cool stylistic choice. <laughs> Little Red turned to Wolvie and said, Bring it on, Peanut! They actually leaped at each other. It was a huge fight. It was awesome. There was so much damage to everything in there, except for the mahogany bed. They didn't touch that again. Priceless. There were claws and katanas cutting through everything. They cut through the mattress and CGI hay went everywhere! Which is weird because regular hay is 500 times cheaper than CGI hay. But we gotta give those VFX guys a job, you know? Spend your money, it's budget thing. Eventually, both of the fighters grew exhausted from the mutually beneficial climax of the fight and they stumbled to the ground. Little Red turned to Wolfie. Churro? He offered in his regular voice because falsettos are hard and I'm getting hot and lightheaded. <laughs> yeah. So they shared that churro. They shared the churro lady in the tramp style. <laughs> they looked around the cottage at all the destruction. They pretended to see all that CGI hay. Little Red turned to Wolfie. You know, Wolfie, we could probably fix this cottage up really nice. Grandma would sell it to us, I bet. Gee, where is Grandma anyway? She's on vacation. Oh, that's not ominous or foreboding at all. In fact, I trust you fully. Do you want to be roommates? Yeah. And so they were roommates! That's right. Little Red took the top bunk and Wolvie was the bottom. And they lived happily ever after. Aww. And the moral of that story, ladies and gentlemen, is honestly, get to know your grandmother. Really? You can't tell the difference between this old woman laying in a bed and a huge jacked man? A huge jackman? If you will, there it is. Thank you very much. All right, everybody, thank you so much for spending the day with me. Or if this was just the one, thank you for coming here for story time with Deadpool. You've been wonderful. I'm not doing anything else today. Don't expect anything from me. Bye now. All right, so we're all done with uh, story time with Deadpool. That was fun. Uh, was it the best story I've seen him do? Wow, my nose is getting red. Um, wasn't the best story I've seen him do? I also was hoping he'd ride out on the unicorn. He didn't, I think he does that for one of the other things he does in Avengers Campus, but that was the only time we saw him today. Um, it is a little later in the afternoon. I want to do some of the Cars Land rides, and then... I don't know what else we're gonna do. I know I didn't really take you around any stores or anything. Um, I might show off more of the merch tomorrow and Saturday. Probably more Saturday than tomorrow. Um, but I wanna do that. And then we have World of Color at nine o'clock and then the park closes at nine tonight. So uh, we have about four hours left. Yeah, we're just kind of hanging out. Just going, you know, feeling the vibes here. That's all this trip was about, was about vibes. So. Um, probably some cars laying the rides and then maybe one or two other things maybe Little Mermaid or something like that and then uh, World of Color so yeah should be a good time the time has come Radiator Springs Racers single rider line it's 610 single rider right this way right this way I'm it's 610 right now the overall wait time is 65 minutes we'll see how long this takes it looks like single rider is pretty backed up so we'll see but very excited for this ride, it's a good one. All right, not bad, we're in the queue now. Single rider took about 30 minutes compared to the 65 posted wait time. That's not bad, half the time for single rider. I mean, I guess I could have paid 20 bucks for lightning lane, but 30 minutes for this ride, not bad. Big race, huh? Did 
It's gonna be fun! Hey, you ever go tractor tipping? It's easy. You sneak up on him and boom! Ready? Don't let Frank catch it. Up! Put test track to shame. Good ride, man. It's so good. It's crazy that they took the test track ride system and created this. If they can do a third of this ride in the new frontier land at Magic Kingdom, there's no reason for anyone to complain. I know Tom Sawyer Island is like, you know, nostalgic. But this ride is so well done from Ruth Stark going through a cave. Uh, from theming just ride track. Fantastic. Fantastic ride. 12 out of 10. So that was the neon lights turning on. But look at these posters of movies. Haunted Mansion, Escape to Witch Mountain, Hocus Pocus, Attack of the Space Zombies from Planet B. This place is awesome during Halloween. Also, they do that nightly. Uh, when it gets dark, they'll do all the, uh, the lights. So, fun time. So I'm not going to film this one this time. I ride this one this time, but I wanted to film it because it was one of my favorites the last time I was here. It's like alien swirling saucers. Just with Nader singing. So fun. And during the holidays, it's Christmas music. How good is that? 
So fun. What a great ride, especially at so night. So it is starting to get uh, really dark now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we have a virtual queue for World of Color. That's kind of how you get your spot for World of Color here. We're gonna go get in our spot and get all settled um, and get ready for World of Color. So I'm gonna show you what like everything looks like at night because it is really pretty all lit up. I have no idea how this phone's gonna do with the dark lighting. Sometimes it shows weird things. Um, but we're gonna go do that and we're just gonna go and get settled in for, for World of Color. So I know there's some stuff we didn't get to do today, rides wise. Not too worried about that. Um, you know, wasn't really here for rides. Like I said, this was a vibes trip. Um, and we will be coming back in about a year. Um, we can do it all then. So, very exciting. Um, so yeah, let's go, let's go see World of Color. I love World of Color. This is World of Color 1. So I've never seen this version of the show, but I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic. All right, so we got our spot for World of Color. Just look how pretty though, the California Adventure looks at night. Yeah, this is awesome. One of my favorite theme parks at night. This, like just this view right here is awesome. All right, so let's wait a, probably like a half hour to World of Color.
take it back. Now I'm drenched. <laughs> Alright, so I changed into a sweatshirt. Uh, I got drenched. And I mean drenched from that show. Uh, the last world of color, not nearly as much water. Yeah, hold on, hang on, I'll show you my shirt. It's, it's drenched. I was drenched. Um, regular world of color, I do not remember it being that much water. Also, I kind of like the music and regular world of color better than world of color one. I don't know what type of opinion that is. I don't keep up with nighttime entertainment at Disneyland as much, but yeah, I like regular world of color better. Um, so now we're gonna head, start making our way out. The park is now closed. So we're gonna start making our way out. And if I see anything cool, I'll show it to you. So let's head out of DCA. So one of the coolest things about the parks being back to back is you get Disneyland's fireworks as you're leaving. So get a little Disneyland fireworks show as you're leaving DCA. And I did want to show off the Walt and Mickey statue. It's one of the only places you can see that statue. It's a cool one. And then behind it, I see. Behind it, Headless Horseman statue for Halloween. I'm vlogging in a huge crowd right now, but yeah, Disneyland fireworks. I think these are the Pixar ones, Pixar ones that we missed last night. So there you go. There are the Pixar fireworks at Disneyland. Tomorrow night we get Halloween fireworks, and that is super exciting. Yeah, we're walking right into the fireworks as we're leaving a park. Also, spooky oogie boogie. You know, oogie boogie bash happens here. And I think that's gonna do it for us today. Thanks so much for tuning in. It was such a great day. I mean, we were here all day. Um, got on so many different things. Saw so many different stuff. I love DCA. It's one of my favorite vibes parks. Just hanging out there is fantastic. Got drenched during World of Color. That's always fun. The fireworks are still happening behind me as we're making our way back to Harbor Boulevard to walk back to our hotel. But thanks so much for tuning in. We have Disneyland again tomorrow, so be sure to tune in to that. And we'll see you all next time. Have a good night. Bye.